So this question starts off by providing us with an xy table. Um, it does say f of x here, but I always think of f of x as y, unless we're using like substitution functions or something like that. Um, so we should be familiar with xy tables. We have ordered pairs at each row here, right? When x equals whatsoever is on the left, y is equal to whatever is on the right. The question goes on to say, for the linear function f, the table shows several values of x and their corresponding values of f of x. What is the y-intercept of the graph of y equals f of x in the xy plane? All right, so a couple of ways to do this. I could graph it and kind of figure out the slope and then make my way to the y-intercept. That's perfectly doable, so you can definitely use a plug-in picture type of idea here. Um, I could also use the fact that it says it's a linear function. Whenever I see that on the SAT, I'm immediately thinking y equals mx plus b. And because I don't know what m or b are, I'd still have to, like, I'd still have to calculate those things, right? So um, we're trying to find b, of course, but I could calculate m. Um, and I think that, you know, I think I'd much rather just use a visual step for this question. So I'm going to make this visual as, I, as visual as I can. I'm looking for what's happening at the y-axis. So I'm going to look at, well, what's going on at negative 2 for x and what's going on at positive 3? 1, 2, 3 for x. I know that at negative 2, I'm at 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And notice that I'm trying my best to make these as evenly spaced as possible. I know I'm not going to be perfect at it, but as long as I'm doing a job, doing a job of trying, usually it works out. And at positive 3, I'm at negative 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's negative 7. So I'm here. So I have, you know, this line here, basically. So based upon the line that I've drawn, I'm crossing the y axis, or the yeah, I'm crossing the y axis at positive two, but I could be off a little bit. Maybe it's positive one. It's somewhere in that area. So let's look at the answer choices. Um, choice A says that my y intercept is at negative three. Definitely not. Choice B says it's at negative one. Also, I'm not that far off. Choice C says it's at two. That's exactly where I have it. And choice D says it's at four, which for me would be way up here. And again, I'm not that far off. So visually, I'm going to say choice C is the best answer. And I just want to show you how you can do that. Um, the other way, the y equals mx plus b way, I'd have to solve for m which is the difference of y values over the difference of x values. And I could take maybe the first two ordered pairs here, and therefore my numerator would become 14 minus 8. That is you know, the y value here minus the y value there. And that would be over negative 4 minus negative 2, right? This x value minus this x value. And what I'd be left with is 6 over negative 4 plus 2, which is negative 2, which is then negative 3. So my slope would equal negative 3. And I could, like I said before, I could just use that information. So again, now if I go back to my graph with just that added information, and I know that I have a, again, negative 2, positive 8 point, but I know that my slope is negative 3, that means I'm going to go down 3 units, down to, to 5, not negative 5, but 5, and then over 1 unit, so I'm here. And then down another three units, one, two, three, down to two, and over another unit, so I'm there. And that takes me right to, again, the y-intercept. So two different ways to do it. Both, in this case, use the visual, um, but the other started off with, or this other method you had to solve for m. There's yet another way to solve it as well. If I know that I'm at y equals negative 3x plus b, I can then just take another ordered pair, doesn't matter which one I choose, and plug the x and y in. Let's say I try, you know, this 3, negative 7. So that tells me that when y is negative 7, x is positive 3. And I still can solve for b, which is what I'm asked to find here. So it becomes negative 7 equals negative 9 plus b. I add 9 to both sides and I'm left with 2 equals b. So my equation is y equals negative 3x plus 2, but the question just wants this 2 here. So that's actually three ways. So a, long, a bit longer of a video, but I showed you three separate ways to solve this question. Hopefully one of them you like and you can utilize in the future.